Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and holy moly, it's May. <laughs> I'm gonna be the first to admit that I actually struggled coming up with my favorites for April because like I don't even know where it went. Um, so I only have three categories for you guys today, um, but hopefully you enjoy it. Um, yeah, I don't know where April went, um, so I like don't even know what I did. <laughs> so um, I have some entertainment, some book, and beauty favorites for you. So without further ado, let's get started. Kicking it off with entertainment, uh, for my birthday, kind of, uh, Ethan and I went to go see Dear Evan Hansen. So funnily enough, um, Easter was very late this year and it was my birthday weekend. So I was like, oh, let's go see a musical on my birthday weekend, like forgetting that Easter can sometimes fall that late. Um, and so I kind of like picked the most inconvenient time. But it was fine and I really liked Dear Evan Hansen. Now, I had no idea what it was about going into it and like the subject matter is pretty heavy so um, I won't like say anything but if you want to know what it is about just go look it up um, because I had no idea and it was like at the end of a bit of a rough week that I was like it just sat so heavy on me like I was just like oh. I need to like listen to the music more to like remember how much I liked it. So obviously I've listened to the music a lot and I do really like it. Um, my favorite songs are probably, um, what's it called? Waving Through a Window and uh, You Will Be Found, the two ones that are like in the commercial. But I really like the music for it. It's very like contemporary and just like shows off vocal talent really well and it's not like a Broadway like this but it just was a really good musical and I think it has an important message um I would not suggest taking younger kids to it there is strong language and again the subject matter is mature I feel like I'm like starting a commercial or something the following program <laughs> contains whatever um but anyways I did really enjoy it and I think I'll be listening to the music on repeat for a long time to come um, next is a new TV show that is on HGTV and it's Island of Brian. So I previously mentioned Brian Inc. on here. I think that it's really funny, but um, if you don't know, Brent, Brian and Sarah Balmer bought a resort in the Bahamas and Island of Brian is them renovating this resort and getting it up and running. So apparently it's not even done yet, which like, I didn't know like the time frame of the TV show. I'm like looking this way because my TV is right there. Um, but I thought it would be open by now. I thought they thought it would be open by now. Um, and it's not, but it's been really funny and just, I think they're funny and they make it funny. So, <laughs> but it's been really interesting to see kind of like, you don't really think about like the wear and tear on a resort that's like oceanfront, but especially this one was kind of like abandoned but to see like the damage and stuff like that. Um, but to see them renovate it is really interesting. So if you like stuff like that, definitely check it out. And the last thing in entertainment is Avengers Endgame. So it is April 28th when I'm filming this. I went to go see it on the 26th. I will not say, I will try to keep it at a minimum, but I've never been so scared to see spoilers or to hear spoilers in my life. Like we were standing in line in concession and the people behind me had already seen it. Like it was the first full day that it was out and they had already seen it. They were going to see it two nights in a row. And I was like, please don't say anything. Please don't say anything. Please don't give anything away. I survived without any spoilers and I would be very upset if I heard spoilers. So if you want to go see it, go see it before anybody can spoil it for you. Um, but it got me. Like I was like, practically sobbing in the theater, which I did not think would happen during an um, action movie, but I just, like, the universe that they created is insane. Like, over 10 years, the number of people that have been involved in that and for it to all come to an end, I do think that it wrapped up really nicely, and I'm going to try and, like, not say anything else, but go see it. I really liked it. I thought it was really well done, and I liked it better than Infinity War. Okay, books. So I have two books to talk to you about. The first one is called One Day in December by Josie Silver. I did have it. I borrowed it from my mother-in-law, but I don't have it to hold up anymore because I like finished it um, before Ethan was going up to see her to uh, take it back. Um, 
but it was a really cute story. Like, it was the December pick for um, Reese Witherspoon's book club. So I saw that and then put it on my list. It like it isn't overly like Christmassy or Decembery, but um, I did really like it. It was kind of like a romantic comedy kind of book like I could see it as a movie but I really enjoyed it and it made me cry at the end can you tell I'm a sensitive person <laughs> um but it was just really cute and I would definitely recommend it and then ne the next one is one that I am currently reading I have not finished it yet um I will probably finish it before this goes up and so I'll like put anything in here if um I have any more thoughts But as for right now, it's already like twisted and turned like in places that I didn't think. Um, and already like I've been like reading it being like, no, 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 no. <laughs> and stuff has happened. But um, it's been really good. I don't want to like say too much to um, spoil anything. But I've really enjoyed it and it's very dark. Um, basically, the beginning starts with like, yep, we killed her. Um, and so it's kind of like... I think lying in wait of the truth catching up to you kind of thing um but again I haven't finished it but I am enjoying it and then next is the beauty category the first thing is this ish palette so I got this I think with a FabFitFun box back when I used to get those and I'm going to put the mirror up so you don't see there's my ceiling um so I've been using the contours so I started with the matte one and I have never really used a contour before so I was really nervous um, but I feel like this one was a lot more um, subtle like I really had to rub the brush in there to get it um, but now I've been using the um, uh, shimmery one there you can see a bit of a shimmer I was scared that it was gonna be like too shimmery um, but it's really nice and it just gives me a nice glow. I'm wearing it right now, if you can tell. Um, I haven't used the highlighter or the blush yet, but for a contour, like, especially because I'm nervous about going too far, um, they've been really nice to kind of, like, ease me into it. Um, so I will try and have a link for that below if it's still available. Again, I got it a few years ago and I've just broken it out now, but... I like it and would recommend it. And then next is the Invisibobble um, hair tie. Um, so you'd think that it would be like uncomfortable. It is really comfortable. I just like chopped my hair. So I, what I did used to have quite long hair um, and it held my hair really nicely. Um, I use it for working out but it does a really nice job and it's not like moving around or anything, especially I'm doing the 80 day obsession right now. So like you're up, you're down, you're like going all over the place and it does really hold it really well. I find it's a little awkward to like pull out of my hair. Like I feel like when you're taking it out, you have to kind of like find one point and pull that out to get it um, because they like overlap so well. Like they, are almost like teeth that like fit together kind of thing um but I really like it and they're clear you can get like brown and black ones depending on your hair color but I just have the clear one um I think it was like a package of three and uh, my mom gave me one to use but I've been using it every morning and it does a really good job so I would recommend it. It is kind of like different to get used to, but um, especially if like you find that hair elastics kind of like slide out of your hair, I don't think this it'll happen with this. And I think that's it. I feel like this is a very short and sweet monthly favorite. Um, so I hope you guys had a good April. I hope you guys have a great May. Let me know if there's anything that you enjoy during the month of April. Um, yeah, honestly, don't know where it went. Had <laughs> trouble thinking of things. Hopefully I'll have more to talk about in May. Um, but I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more. Let me know if you like shorter monthly favorites. I feel like sometimes I ramble on and they're not that long anyways, but I feel like this one will be really short. Um, but thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Okay, have a great rest of your day. Bye.